Well, now, what do you what do you think we're moving into in the form of new rhythms, new patterns? Just complete freedom and non-expectation from audience or musician or performer. Just complete autonomy, mood. improvising. Yes, complete. And then when we've had that for a few hundred years, then maybe we can talk about playing around with patterns and bars and music again. And ground rolls. Yes, we must uh, get away from the the patterns that we've had for it's all these thousands of years. Well, this means very much in the way of decentralizing our world, doesn't it? Yes. Instead of pushing everything into big central patterns. Yes, that big. We must be one country, Nigeria, and uh, we must all stick together in the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. It's uh, we, we don't have to have badges to say we're together. We're together no. if we're together, mm. and no stamps and flags are going to make anybody together. Folks. The, um, way in which I think of the satellites as having done something about this. When you put the earth inside a man-made environment, you scrap nature. Uh, you have then the job of programming everything on the planet. And everything that you don't program is polluted. Yes. You're in charge of the whole show again. The Garden of Eden yes. is the job of the programmer. It's our gardener said to us, uh, we were asking him why he was pulling up the weeds, or some of them were flowers, you know, the weeds are flowers, we went through that bit. He says, everything uh, that I haven't planted, I constitute a weed, sir. <laughs> and he pulled them up, and that's exactly what will happen when, when they do what you said. Do you think that this new kind of music, in which everybody participates, uh, and everybody creates his own music, is um, compatible with any kind of what you might call a social pattern or social order. Yes. How, how are we going to That's manage right. to be together and yet at the same time each do his own thing? Because when we find out that we all like doing the same kind of thing together, mm -hmm. we'll be doing our thing and notice, well, that they're doing the same thing over there. Well, and we won't be saying, you must do this thing that we're doing yeah. because ours is a groovy thing. Well, I suppose people discovered that's that even in uh, the form of uh, just group marching together is yeah. fun. No, but you see, the Western world is always um, very interested in uniqueness, you know, and that's why people are saying, well, I have to be different from you and all that. Well, why don't we try once to just be completely the same, you know, and then you see that we can never be the same. So yes. The problem is not uh, You're really to saying isolate yourself. that the more effort we make to be different, the more we become alike. Yes. In a very superficial way. Yes, yes, but no, what I'm saying is quite the opposite. The more different we try to uh, be. be, then the thing is, um, we see that, you uh, know, more, more, more we lose more our real self. That we try to be, then we, we see that we, we are actually very different and we are isolated. Mm. So that you're, you're saying that in the Orient they discovered long ago that there was no danger of people becoming alike. They are no, all. No, no. no. Okay. That in the Western world, we've always been terrified of becoming yeah, exactly. alike. While, in fact, we've managed to become amazingly alike. I know, that's what I mean. Competition uh, is, uh, somebody said, uh, the sincerest form, imitation is the sincerest form of battery. Mm. If you want to bludgeon everybody into being just like you, imitate everybody. When people imitate one another, they really beat each other. Mm. In the, you're always trying to rival one another, and in fact, you do not, you do become superficially alike in the uniform sense, the uni wearing uniforms. But a man in your, in uh, men wearing the same uniforms, you're saying, are really amazingly uh, different. And uh, so, why try to be alike in that superficial way? Why not try I'm to be? Talking about the superficial way, let's share things. People are afraid of sharing things because then they think they would just emerge in the crowd. But if we try to share things, and the more we share things, we'll see that we would have, we would still have uniqueness. You know, mm. we don't have to be afraid of emerging and evolving together. Have you ever considered that the uh, Western world, in spite of its efforts, is the most communist thing that ever existed? Mm -hmm. We have service environments, including your own music, available to on multi-billion-dollar forms for free to everybody. We have more free environmental services than any human beings ever possessed in the world before. There, 
I, I, the, no private wealth could possibly buy the things that are free in the Western world. We became communist in these terms by 1810. The Western world had postal services and information services and travel services that the poor man could have. We were communists before Karl Marx was born. That's very good, but uh, because you were so advanced in that, you gave us the benefit of being uh, having the same access, you know. Yeah. So the whole world is very small now. Yes. So uh, I, 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 I've often pointed out that the West is going east, inward. And vice versa. And vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Well, the yeah. East is going West and outer. This could, uh, I suppose, produce some rather aggressive action in the East, just as the east, uh, West tends to become more peaceful and inward mm -hmm. and contemplative. It's just if we just about hold the con on the East that we are doing and we convert, we might catch them before they do that thing that you just mm. said otherwise it'll it's a joke isn't it mm. <laughs> it's a cosmic joke number 5002 <laughs> <laughs> mm. you mean just yeah. changing roles and letting them be yeah, the yeah. the the bullies and uh, us mm. yes. becoming the gandhis yeah, i mean if we can, we're still imitating and if we if we have this self awareness or whatever inner thing and uh, just catch them before they imitate the old image Mm -hmm. We might get together somewhere. Right. That thing about music we were saying before, and you were saying about politically. Well, of course, if uh, if the public joined in with the music of government, then we'd have real government, and we wouldn't have all these daddies and father figures and heroes. And bureaucrats. Yes, we'd all be playing the music together. Yes, you know, why the can't music we of together? politics. Why can't we sing the same song? There's nothing wrong with it, you know. People like singing the same songs. They always have liked singing together. Oh, then it's all right. We should continue that and more expand that, you know. It's possible now. Yes, I hope so. Uh, with electricity to sing the same songs mm -hmm. day by day. But you feel that the song must be changed in order to stay alive. Yes, yes. yes. This is very, but most people don't understand this. There's a, a, a need for new form in order to keep things alive. Yes. A new form comes naturally, I it's think, just because we're changing action, our It's just action, reaction, or whatever, destruction. Mm -hmm. That, that's it. And also we're changing our face every day whether we like it or not.